Skits and nutter. Mental case. Attention seeker. Brainless. Crazy. Psycho. Yeah. Fruit loop. Maniac. Useless. Not all there. These are all words and phrases used against people like me. Living with a complex mental health condition. Have you ever experienced any stigmatising language? It was said a lot to me, like nuts and like maniac. I think you're going a little bit mental. Have you had your medication? But it, you know, not that he meant any harm, it's just the use of that language is not helpful in that situation. Yeah, I've had a bit of stigma. Uh, people thought I was drunk. Oh, her brain is choked, so she has no brain. It's because I had a brain injury and yeah. I had a brain operation done because my tumour was in my brain. They disregard it as if it's not an existing illness because I think it's because they can't see it. Just because I had a tumour, it doesn't mean I have no brain. So language is really important because it's a form of social action. It can either exacerbate or diminish stigma. So it has a lot of power. You say a word and people get a picture in their heads. So I think it's really important we use the right language to help people get the right picture in their heads. So language like committed suicide has those connotations of a crime. That phrase hits home with me because my symptoms manifested themselves that I was suicidal. Because committed means something criminal offence. They took their own life and there's more power behind, behind that phrase than what it is behind committing suicide. Suicide isn't a crime. It hasn't been since 1961 in the UK. So sh we shouldn't be talking about people committing suicide because it's not an illegal act. Phrases like this person died by suicide yes. or completed suicide may be more helpful. So we know that sometimes people will talk about people in derogatory ways. That might be about acting a bit schizo without having a mental health diagnosis. That's really quite unhelpful. And I think it comes down to lack of understanding and using phrases about people when they don't have a diagnosis. So I think using slang words like maniac, psycho, crazy, they're so easy to slip into our language, but they're really, without realizing it, quite impactful and quite damaging. Lunatic, such an old word related to the moon. Hy hysterical is because they used to think that the womb moved around a woman and when it went to her brain, it made her hysterical and that was why. <laughs> That's why we use the words hysterical. Um, and we still use it in a way to describe people who are mentally unwell, but it's so outdated as a phrase. Whenever I hear these kind of words, that make me uh, sad and very offensive. You wouldn't say, oh, I'm, I'm acting like I've got like chronic asthma or something like that, because you know that that would have really upset somebody that had asthma. I think the, uh, the, the term mental health is something that everyone has. You know, if you talk about gut health or, you know, um, physical health, everyone understands what that is, but everyone has a level of mental health, be that good or be that bad. I think people need to be really mindful about what they're saying, how they're saying it, and the impact that can really have on people. So I think it's about asking questions first and trying to understand what the person's living with and experiencing. We've really got to take responsibility for the language that we use. What might seemingly be an innocent comment actually is really, really powerful no matter what the intention is. And we have to take responsibility for the language that we use. Language matters. It matters. I matter. We all matter. Think before you speak.